In the shadowed corners of history, where the threads of legend and fact intertwine, lies the Stanley Hotel, a beacon to those who seek the whispers of the past and the murmurs of the other side. My darlings of the dark, I invite you to journey with me as we peel back the layers of time, revealing stories of ambition, spectral presences, and the indelible mark of a literary nightmare. Our exploration begins with Freeland Oscar Stanley, a man whose vision carved a monument to luxury from the rugged wilderness of Estes Park. Within the walls of this grand creation, room 217 waits, silent and brooding, a chamber where history and haunting collide, inspiring terror in the heart of a young Stephen King. Prepare to be ensnared by the allure of the unknown, for as we delve into the spectral heart of the Stanley Hotel, we confront not just ghosts, but the essence of fear itself. Join me as we step into the world where the veil is thin and the spirits speak. This landmark is more than just a monument to luxury. It stands at the crossroads of the paranormal and historical. It's every corner whispering tales of yesteryear and whispers of the otherworldly linger in the air. Every episode this season is a two-parter. The first part is about the history of the hotel. The second part, we get into the paranormal activity. I will be uploading two episodes a week. So please, stick around and come back for more. Our narrative starts with freelance Oscar Stanley, whose life mirrors the American ethos of innovation. Overcoming tuberculosis after moving to Estes Park, Stanley was inspired to build a hotel that merged luxury with the healing beauty of the mountains. The Stanley Hotel, born from his vision, became a sanctuary blending elegance with nature's majesty. The story deepens with the mysterious room 217 and Elizabeth Wilson, whose spirit is rumored to roam its halls. Her presence links the hotel's vibrant history with its haunted reputation, making the Stanley Hotel a focal point for those intrigued by the veil between our world and the next. Join us as we explore the Stanley Hotel's origins, its architectural grandeur, and the paranormal mysteries it houses. This episode is just the opening chapter of a tale that bridges human ambition with the unseen, inviting listeners to a journey through the shadows of history and beyond. In the sweeping narrative of American innovation and resilience, the life of Freeland Oscar Stanley stands as a testament to the determined spirit that shaped the early 20th century. Born in 1849 in Kingfield, Maine, Stanley, along with his twin brother Francis Edgar, displayed an early aptitude for creativity and engineering. Their journey from humble beginnings to becoming pivotal figures in the American Industrial Revolution is a story of ambition, discovery, and the relentless pursuit of progress. Freeland Oscar Stanley's story cannot be told without mentioning his twin brother, Francis Edgar. Together, they embarked on a series of ventures that would leave an indelible mark on American history. Their most notable invention, the Stanley Steamer, revolutionized transportation at the turn of the century, offering an alternative to traditional horse-drawn carriages and setting the stage for the automotive boom that would define the 20th century. Their success was not merely a product of mechanical ingenuity, but a reflection of their symbiotic partnership and shared vision for the future. However, Freeland's narrative took a dramatic turn in 1903 when he was diagnosed with tuberculosis. At a time when the disease was often a death sentence, the diagnosis threatened to halt the momentum of a lifetime's work. Seeking a respite and possible cure, Stanley and his wife Flora ventured to Estes Park, Colorado on the advice of Freeland's doctor. This decision, born out of desperation, would unwittingly 
lead to the creation of one of the most iconic hotels in American history. The impact of Estes Park on Freeland Stanley was profound and immediate. The clean, crisp air of the Rocky Mountains provided a stark contrast to the pollution and congestion of the industrial cities of the East. Within a year, his health had improved dramatically, a recovery he attributed to the therapeutic qualities of the mountain air. This miraculous turnaround not only gave Stanley a new lease on life, but also inspired him with a new purpose. Determined to share the healing powers of Estes Park with others, Stanley set out to create a sanctuary that would offer the same solace and rejuvenation he had experienced. His vision was grandiose, a luxurious hotel that would stand as a monument to human resilience and the restorative power of nature. He envisioned a place where the wealthy and ailing alike could retreat from the pressures of the modern world and find healing in the beauty and tranquility of the mountains. The creation of the Stanley Hotel was a testament to Stanley's determination and his belief in the potential of Estes Park. Overcoming significant logistical challenges, he utilized his engineering prowess and financial resources to bring his vision to fruition. The hotel, with its imposing Georgian architecture and modern amenities, was a marvel of its time, offering an unparalleled level of luxury and comfort in one of the most breathtaking settings in the country. Freeland Oscar Stanley's journey from a small town in Maine to the creation of the Stanley Hotel is a narrative of transformation and legacy. It's a story that reflects the broader themes of American innovation, the quest for health and happiness, and the enduring allure of the American West. His life, marked by both profound achievements and personal trials, serves as a reminder of the capacity for human beings to shape their destiny and leave a lasting impact on the world around them. Upon witnessing the miraculous restoration of his health in the serene and invigorating environment of Estes Park, Freeland Oscar Stanley, a man of profound innovation and undaunted spirit, conceived a vision that was as bold as it was beautiful. His experience in the rugged wilderness of the Rocky Mountains, far removed from the bustling streets and smog-filled skies of the East Coast, had not only rejuvenated his body, but had also ignited a flame of inspiration within his soul. It was here, amidst the majestic peaks and tranquil valleys, that Stanley decided to erect a monument to the restorative powers of nature, a luxurious hotel that would serve as a bridge between the refined elegance of the East Coast and the untamed beauty of the West. The vision was grand and unprecedented, Stanley aimed to create not just a hotel, but an oasis of luxury and comfort that would stand as a beacon of sophistication and refinement in the heart of the wilderness. He envisioned a place where the elite of society could escape the rigors and stresses of urban life and immerse themselves in the purity and tranquility of the mountains, all the while surrounded by the comforts and amenities to which they were accustomed. This hotel would not only offer a respite for the weary, but also serve as a testament to human ingenuity and the transformative power of nature. Drawing upon his vast resources and the wealth of experience gained from his entrepreneurial ventures, Stanley set about turning his vision into reality. He approached the project with the same meticulous attention to detail and relentless pursuit of excellence that had characterized his previous endeavors the design of the hotel would reflect the grandeur and elegance of the finest East Coast establishments. Incorporating Georgian architectural elements and opulent interiors that exuded sophistication and grace. However, Stanley's ambition went beyond mere aesthetics. He was determined to equip the hotel with the latest technological innovations, ensuring that it would offer unparalleled comfort and convenience to its guests. From electric lighting to telephones in every room, Stanley was adamant that the hotel should represent the pinnacle of modernity and progress, even in the midst of the rugged mountain landscape. 
the construction of the Stanley Hotel was a monumental undertaking, fraught with challenges and obstacles. The remote location and harsh terrain posed significant logistical difficulties, requiring innovative solutions and unwavering perseverance. Yet Stanley's resolve never faltered. With each passing day, the hotel began to take shape, rising majestically against the backdrop of the Rockies, its grand silhouette a symbol of human ambition and the enduring allure of the American West. When the Stanley Hotel finally opened its doors in 1909, it was met with widespread acclaim. Guests were awestruck by its lavish accommodations, exquisite dining, and breathtaking views. The hotel quickly became a coveted destination for the wealthy and influential drawing visitors from across the country and the world. In creating the Stanley Hotel, Freeland Oscar Stanley had not only realized his vision of bringing a slice of East Coast elegance to the Rocky Mountains, but had also established a legacy that would endure for generations to come. Freeland Oscar Stanley's venture into the heart of the Rocky Mountains to build his opulent Stanley Hotel was an ambitious endeavor marked by a series of formidable challenges. Each hurdle demanded not only his vast reservoir of innovation, but also a steadfast commitment to realizing his vision amidst the wilderness of Estes Park, Colorado. The project, steeped in both ambition and adversity, tested Stanley's resolve at every turn. From sourcing materials to integrating cutting edge technologies of the era, one of the initial and most daunting challenges was the remote location of Estes Park. Nestled deep within the Rockies, the area was largely inaccessible with limited roads and no direct rail connections. This isolation posed significant logistical difficulties in transporting the necessary construction materials to the site. Stanley, however, was undeterred he orchestrated a complex supply chain that involved shipping materials by rail to the nearest station and then hauling them over rugged mountainous terrain using a fleet of mules and horses. This monumental effort required meticulous planning and coordination, showcasing Stanley's determination to bring his vision to life against the odds. Moreover, the harsh and unpredictable mountain weather presented its own set of challenges. Construction periods were constrained by the seasonal climate, with the winter snows rendering nearly impossible for months at a time. This limited window for construction demanded efficient use of time and resources, requiring Stanley and his team to operate with precision and urgency. The unpredictable weather has also tested the resilience of the workers and the durability of the materials, further complicating an already complex construction process. Another significant challenge was Stanley's ambition to equip the hotel with the latest technological innovations of the time. He envisioned the Stanley Hotel as a modern marvel, complete with electric lighting, telephones in every room, and an advanced heating system, amenities that were virtually unheard of in such a remote location at the turn of the century. Implementing these technologies required innovative solutions and often involved pioneering new methods of installation and maintenance. Stanley led the construction of a hydroelectric power plant to ensure a reliable source of electricity for the hotel demonstrating his forward-thinking approach and commitment to modernity. Perhaps the most endearing challenge was ensuring that the hotel's design and construction reflected the grandeur and elegance that Stanley envisioned. He wanted the Stanley Hotel to stand as a beacon of luxury and sophistication, a task that demanded exacting standards in architecture, interior design, and landscaping. This pursuit of perfection often meant revising plans, sourcing the finest materials from across the country, 
and hiring skilled artisans to execute the intricate details of the design. Stanley's uncompromising vision for the hotel's aesthetic excellence was a continuous driving force throughout the construction process. In overcoming these challenges, Freeland Oscar Stanley not only realized his dream of creating a luxurious retreat in the Rocky Mountains, but also cemented his legacy as a visionary entrepreneur. The Stanley Hotel, with its majestic architecture and cutting edge amenities, stands as a testament to Stanley's resilience, innovation, and unwavering commitment to excellence. In 1909, the grand opening of the Stanley Hotel was an event that marked a significant moment in American luxury hospitality. Nestled within the breathtaking vistas of Estes Park, Colorado, this magnificent hotel, conceived and constructed by Freeland Oscar Stanley, was poised to redefine luxury in the American West. Its unveiling was not just a showcase of architectural grandeur and technological innovation. It was the realization of Stanley's dream to create an oasis of refinement and comfort in the heart of the Rocky Mountains. From the onset, the Stanley Hotel captured the imagination of the public and the elite alike. The grandeur of its opening was a spectacle of sophistication, attracting guests from across the nation who were eager to witness this fusion of East Coast elegance and the pristine wilderness of the West. The hotel's inaugural guests comprised a veritable who's who of the early 20th century high society, including titans of industry, cultural luminaries, and distinguished members of the social elite. These initial patrons were drawn not only by the promise of unparalleled luxury, but also by the allure of the hotel's unique setting, offering an escape to the rejuvenating environs of the Rocky Mountains. The Stanley Hotel's appear was further heightened by its cutting edge amenities and the meticulous attention to detail evident in every aspect of its design and service. From electric lights and telephones in each guest room to sophisticated plumbing and heating systems, the hotel offered comforts and conveniences that were virtually unheard of in such a remote location. This commitment to modernity combined with the hotel's striking architecture and opulent interiors, quickly cemented its status as a sought-after destination for the discerning traveler. Moreover, the Stanley Hotel became synonymous with health and wellness, drawing guests who sought the therapeutic benefits of the high-altitude climate. Freeland Stanley himself, having experienced a remarkable recovery from tuberculosis in Estes Park, was a testament to the healing powers of the region. This aspect of the hotel's appeal attracted a clientele interested in both the leisure and health benefits offered by Stanley Hotel's exceptional location. As word of the Stanley Hotel's splendor spread, it began to attract not just the elite from the United States, but also international visitors, further enhancing its reputation as a premier global destination. The hotel's ability to offer an unmatched experience of luxury in the midst of the natural beauty of the Rockies made it a symbol of the American spirit of innovation and the pursuit of excellence. In summary, the grand opening of the Stanley Hotel in 1909 was more than just the unveiling of a new luxury hotel. It was a landmark event that signified the emergence of a new era in American hospitality. With its blend of sophisticated elegance, technological innovation, and natural beauty, the Stanley Hotel quickly became a beacon for those seeking an unparalleled experience of luxury and rejuvenation. Its legacy, established from the very beginning, has endured for over a century, making the Stanley Hotel a timeless icon of American luxury and a cherished destination for generations of guests. As we draw the curtains on today's episode, we leave the opulent halls and ghostly whispers of the Stanley Hotel behind, but not forgotten. Through the lens of history and the echoes of the ethereal, we've traversed the corridors of ambition, innovation, 
and the spectral presence that intertwines with the hotel's very foundation. Elizabeth Wilson's story, a tapestry of dedication, tragedy, and an enduring spirit, leaves an indelible mark on the Stanley's legacy, transforming room 217 from mere numbers on a door to a beacon for those drawn to the mysterious beyond our understanding. Yet, our journey doesn't end here. In part two, we delve deeper into the shadowy embrace of the Stanley. We'll explore the night when the lines between the past and the present blur, where Elizabeth's present is felt strongest, offering comfort and intrigue in equal measure. This continuation promises to unfurl the layers of a haunting that transcends time inviting us to ponder the bonds that tie us to this world and the next. Join us as we seek the whispers in the walls, the chill in the air, and the stories etched in the very fabric of the Stanley Hotel. Prepare to be enveloped by the spectral allure of room 217, where history breathes and legends come alive. Stay tuned, for the shadows have more secrets to share and our journey through the haunted heart of the Stanley is far from over.